keep it with you all day. Open your eyes. All right. <clears throat> Perfect. So, welcome and good morning. Thanks for being here. Uh, I'm going to talk today about becoming the best version of yourself and then some sales training. So, welcome, Francis. Good to see you here. Thanks for joining. Uh, and what does that mean, becoming the best version of yourself? So, um, it means a lot, but it also it has a, a sense of purpose. So... <clears throat> And it's interesting that I said it has a sense of purpose because you need to have a purpose to become the best version of yourself. When we have a purpose, this purpose pulls us forward. So you are in a certain position and then if you don't have a goal, you have a purpose, you don't know where to go. So imagine you're on your driveway and you have nowhere to go. Where do you go to the mall? Where do you go to to downtown? Do you go uptown? Like if, you, if there's no purpose, you're not gonna go anywhere. So you gotta have a sense of purpose. The big purpose pulls you forward. Okay. The second thing to become the best version of yourself, we have to start uh, developing what I call supreme self confidence, and that is gonna come from growth. That's gonna come from the growth that you will experience as you grow. And as you grow, you start asking yourself interesting questions. Did I do my best? Did I show up? Did I think and act as a person I want to become? Now, some people think they did, and they stay where they are for years because they're not willing to listen to other people's help, to other people's suggestion, and they're very closed-minded. It takes courage to ask oneself, did I do my best? Did I show up? Did I think and act as the person I want to become? Um, and if we didn't, why not? That's even a second deeper question because it can even hurt. It's like, wow, I go to this place, I go to work, I do this, but I did not do my best. Why? Right? Why not? It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Most people don't want to ask that question. Now, neglect starts as a small infection and it becomes a disease. Because you start delaying, you start going late, you start not showing up, uh, you start not doing your best, and then it becomes a big, big disease. But if you want to become the best version of yourself, you're going to have to not do that. See, everyone must pay the price for greatness. Everyone must pay the price to, to, to become really uh, somebody or something in this world. And you have to pay the price. You cannot skip that equation. To rise above the current conditions and the economy of food around you, you got to be willing to pay the price. Number three, I would say it's enthusiasm. You got to be enthusiastic about what you're doing. You got to like it. It's gotta be, it might be the most boring thing. It could be like... Uh, like mixing cement, but if you're not excited about it, you're not going to do a good job mixing cement. And you might be thinking, uh, you know, you know this this job and this job, it doesn't matter. You have to be enthusiastic about your job. Even if you're working in a donut shop, even if you're working in a restaurant, even if you you have to be enthusiastic if you want to show up at your best and become the best version of you. Now, in a situation where there's a lot of services, you have to be willing to help people. Right, they the you have to be willing to help, to be willing to give something of you to help somebody do something else. You go in it to give. Okay, now this fourth one has to do with expertise and income, uh, Francis and everybody else that's listening, and that is uh, the second thing in the law of compensation. If you want to learn how to earn money, you have to become an expert in something. You have to become a true expert in something. Now, expertise um, doesn't just show up. You learn something in school, but that's just information. And then you have to go ahead doing some things in your hand, in your mind, in your writing, in your experience, in working with people. You have to become an expert. Now, how do you become an expert? 
Well, you become an expert by doing it. You have to become the one in your field. People have to come to Francis to do the thing. People have to come to Kamal to fix the thing. You're going to be known for something. I'm not talking about average. I'm talking about top notch. You know, you become the top 1% in, in your field. Now, what is that? How do you become the top percent in your field? Well, you just start demanding it from yourself. You start, start demanding it and showing up like it. You start growing like it, acting like it, being like it, getting the help that you need to be like it, getting the, the system in place so that you can be your best, right? And then you have to embrace this change, but it's a journey. I see the law of compensation said uh, the, the need for what you do, how good are you doing it, and are you dispensable? Now, the need for what you do has always been here and will always be here when you go. So that has nothing to do with you. How good are you doing it has a lot to do with you. That's where the responsibility is. So right away in the first 30 days when you come and coach with me, we help you really come up with this worthiness with this purpose with this big goal and then we get you to make a decision on it that is you're not going to change your mind because you got to say i am i am this i am that this is what i'm going to do and then we get you to start doing it even though you're not ready for it, but you got to start doing it so then you know the decision then there's um persistence at doing it because many people start things you know anything start things all the time how many things have you started and dropped? How many books have you bought and never read? How many courses have you taken and nothing has changed? How many coaches have you been at and nothing has changed? Why? Because they did not get to the root cause. You were not connected with your purpose. You were not connected with the thing and enthusiastic about that thing that you want to grow. And that's why how my content and my way of coaching is much different. And the third, is I want to get you to become responsible, responsible for what it is you want to become. Most people don't want responsibility. They say they do, but they don't. Or or they don't understand it. I don't know what happened here. The zoom went a bit smaller, but here we go. So, um, Demand this uh, expertise from yourself. You will start showing up because if you stick around and listen more to what I'm going to tell you, the genius, the 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 god like you is inside of you. It's just waiting to come out. See, uh, Madame Montessori was asked, uh, you know, what do you teach these kids when you come to to your school and you guys teach them? She goes, we're just getting the greatness out of them. The greatness is already within. Okay. Whatever is calling you to do is already inside of you. It's just we need to unpeel this onion and get you out. Now, number five, to become the best version of yourself and be you, you have to uh, prepare. You have to prepare. And winning takes preparation. You have to show up. L life is not just uh, going to happen. L life is waiting for you to make it happen. But you have to prepare. You have to go out, prepare uh, for the opportunity, and the opportunity will come. Prepare for the thing and the thing will come. You have to go and shoot the basketball. You have to go and shoot the basketball. You have to go and shoot the basketball. And eventually, somebody will find you training and then somebody will give you a job and then somebody will get you to coach a team and then you can become part of the team and then you can be drafted and all kinds of things starts happening. But you have to prepare for the opportunity. Most people want the opportunity without the preparation. That doesn't happen. Okay? You have to focus a lot of your skills on this leadership, influence, and your skills. Yeah, you have to start being like that. Number six, I have written, it says resilience. You have to be strong. You have to, you have to be resilient. Like things will happen. Life happens, right? You're going to have pains. You're going to have issues. You're going to have stuff happen. But you know what? Stop complaining. Accept the responsibility. It doesn't matter that you're not feeling good. Show up. It doesn't matter that you have issues at home. Show up. It doesn't matter that, 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 that. you got to be willing to take it. You got to be willing to take the hits. You got to be willing to have people count on you. And if you don't do that, guess what? You're not resilient. You're not that best version. See, it takes multiple layers of things. It's easy to say, I want to be part of that 1% income. I want to be part of that 1% leader. But you have to learn how to do what it takes to get there. And that's what this coaching is about.
most people think, oh, it's just mindset. Well, it's just mindset. Your mind is already set anyways. And we're going to help you learn, unlearn, and relearn. That's the idea. Okay? Number seven, image. The image of yourself, of yourself. What, where is your image? How do you see you? How do you see yourself? Self-image is big. Self-image on the outside is different than the one on the inside. But once they start matching, that's when you're going to start feeling good. A lot of times we're not showing up at our best version. We say something, we mean something else. There's like a conflict. And I'm not talking there's about multiple personality syndromes and stuff. No, I'm talking about you think you want to be like this, but you do something else. How do they match? How can we make a match? So once we get you to correct that self-image to the way you're liking on the inside, the outside will start to change. So how do others see you? Do others see you confident? Do others see you uh, valuable? Do others see you that you dress the part, you show up the part? Do others uh, see you that you you be the part? You know, you have to be that. That What's your image? Well, you know, And the best way to know that is to confide with a couple of people, three people, whatever, from your community, of people that you respect, and ask them, hey, what do you think of me today? How did my talk go? How how did I do on my project presenting at work? How how what do you think of me? Honestly, like please tell me. But you have to be prepared because you might not like the answer. Okay. Number eight, character. How much character do you have? How 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 um, again it, it, it's do you have that character, right? Respect for other people. High value for other people, high value to help other people build themselves. Uh, you have to build it and develop it. You have to, you can, you cannot be in it to win just a one time. That's why I tell people sometimes when they come, they want to coach with me and then, you know, we're having the first meeting and stuff. And they're like, you know, eventually you have to make a decision, but you have to do it now, but I'll be here. You know, my, my thing is not just to help you one time, it's to help you all the time, right? It's, you have to learn these things. Um, And with this character, the way you show up, you you can't you can't uh, ease up on it. You have to decide and you just start be it, and then you start be it. And people are gonna get used to being like that, All right? Mm -hmm. More things on character. Mm -hmm. And do your part. Don't don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait till no. You gotta do your part. I want you to focus on this extraordinary performance that you're gonna start showing up. Extraordinary performance. If you want extra, be extra. Whatever you want that's happening to you, you have to start being it. If you want to be in an interesting party, start being interested. Interesting. If you want to be lovable, if you want to be loved, start being lovable. If you want people to be kind to you, you start being kind. So you have to do your part. Most people don't want to do their part. They're waiting till tomorrow. They're waiting till next week. They're waiting till next month. They want to be fit, but they're waiting for next year to start the membership. You got to do your part. A lot of people don't want to do their part, and that's responsibility. And right away, within 30 days, I will teach you what it takes and why these things are not happening in your mind because your mind is in charge. Your mind is causing all this mess. Okay, in the minute here, I'm going to bring the pen and draw how all this is happening to you, all right? Inside your mind. I want you to focus on becoming uh, an extraordinary person, an extraordinary performance. Do you see that you can actually do this this year? This is not a lifetime of work. This is a short amount of work where you press on the gas and you change this image of you and boom, suddenly you're there. And guess what? Once you shift, you don't change. Once you shift, you don't change. For example, these 6 a.m. meetings, they're available to all my clients, hundreds of them. Sometimes they show up, sometimes they don't. But you know what? I'm not going to change. I'm here because I have high standard. I set myself apart, right? I show up. So so society and your environment does not demand excellence from you. You have to demand it from yourself. You can live in a $50,000 home or a million dollar home or $10 million home. Society doesn't care. God doesn't care. You decide. So what are you demanding from yourself? What's the character that you're building today so that you are happy, content, satisfied, feeling good? 
So you feel that you have a sense of purpose, you have a goal, you have, your vision is fulfilled. Build that character. Don't, don't delay. You've been delaying all your life. You've been waiting 20, 30, 40 years now. You might be thinking about all these things. Are There's so much of it. It's not because we have a systematic process that we teach you. A systematic process that teaches you these things. I want to bring up a picture here on the screen because this picture will explain a lot. Okay. Um, let me bring it up. All right, so let's bring it up. <clears throat> and then I'm going to share the iPad, okay? Here we go. So it, it, this picture on the screen, uh, we use this in another session, but I want you, I want you to see something. I want you to see something. Right away, when you come and spend time with me, you're going to learn what a big goal is. And this is what we do. We're going to set you with a nice big goal right away with lesson one. You decide the goal, a worthy goal, a worthy goal of you. What are you going to, what are you willing to spend your time on? What are you willing to become? But with that goal, you're going to have to make a decision, baby. You're going to have to decide, is this worth my life? Is this worth what I'm becoming? You're going to make a decision. And I'm going to teach you how to do that. This is different than anything else you've ever done. You've never made a decision like this in your life. You think you have, but you have not. Right away. Then we study this for two weeks. Then the second thing is, I want to get you to start taking action. We call that the knowing doing it. Like how many things you know how to do, but you don't do. How many people have degrees in, I've had five degrees before I started acting on the things that I'm supposed to be doing. Five, okay? We call that the knowing doing gap. You, you know you're good at something, but you don't do it. Here, we get you to start persisting. Uh, for example, uh, how many times you, you've had memberships and you never go to the gym, for example. You buy the gym membership, but you don't go. Why? The first few days felt good. The first two weeks felt good. But then you stop going. Trust me, I've had the same problem too. Why are you not persistent, persisting on it? So we're going to teach you what's that all about. And you're going to know how to control your mind to make this happen. The knowing doing gap is a miles apart. I was asked the other day, what do you do? And I think we have it on LinkedIn as well. What do you do? I said, I help people close the gap. I help people close the gap. And the gap is a mile wide. What is this gap? You could be thinking you should be earning $100,000, but you're earning 50. You could be thinking you should be earning a million dollars, but you're earning 100,000. The gap is that gap, that difference. So what if we can start helping you achieve this thing that you're thinking? That's what I'm talking about. And then we start teaching you about the mind which is, I'm going to draw a little small picture of the mind just to connect all the dots, right? The mind is an incredible thing. This is basically this lesson here, lesson three, the infinite mind uh, and, and, and the secret genie because the genie lies inside of you. The genie lies inside of you. Trust me, in 12 weeks, you're going to be a whole different man. And you can see, right? We're going to, we, we're going to, start, we're going to start small and we're going, to, we, we're going to keep going, you know, lesson one, lesson two. Now, we, you, you might not need this. You might need lesson Pen or whatever leadership, or you may need an attitude adjustment. So you can start earning more money. So you can start feeling healthy. So you can start feeling happy. So you can start feeling wealthy. We know we will see where you're at and we'll help you right away. But there is a process. Okay. There is a process to this magic. Now, inside of your mind, that's why I know you are 100% capable. You have what I call higher mental faculties. And that's your imagination, that's your memory, that's your reason, that's your perception, that's your will, that's your focus. If you're not using those, you are basically working with your instinct. You're working just like a bird, you're working just like a mammal out there, but you have a beautiful power inside of you you're not using. It's like you have a super race and car inside of you you're not using. What if we tap into that potential? What if we tap into the potential of your imagination? What if we tap into the potential of your memory? 
You can even memorize the Bible if you want, or the Quran, or whatever you believe in. What about perception? When you see a problem, do you know why you can't solve it? When somebody proposes something to you and you don't understand it, why is that? Because your perception is different. It's not as deep <clears throat> and open as it could be. All right? How do, you, how do you reason things? What if we can expand this reasoning so that you can really, really grow? What what if what if we get you intuition, intuitive, you know, intuition, right? Intuition is like God talking to you. How many times you got feelings that you should be doing something, but you don't follow it? Have you ever gone to a restaurant or to a market and you said, you know, I don't really feel good, and you, and, but you, you don't do anything about it? Well, that's the thing. Intuition is God's talking to you, it is spirit. I've gone to places where I, I just didn't feel good being there. I left. And everybody like, hey, man, we, we, gotta, we all got to have lunch. I said, hey, you go ahead and have lunch. I, I, it doesn't feel right to me. I listen to my intuition. But you have to be alert. We have to wake you up. And then there's your will. How strong is your will? You see, these different these things that I talked about earlier with, with the values and how you can become the best version of yourself, it all has to do with this. Are you willing to do what it takes? You see, everybody wants to be successful. Everybody wants to be a multimillionaire. Everybody wants to be part of that one, two, three percent of the population that is earning 96% of the money. But are you willing to do what it takes? Because I gotta tell you, you're gonna be tested. No, this is not mean to scare you. It's not hard. It's just you have not been trained. You don't study these things in school. I had five degrees. I never studied this. Okay. And then my favorite lesson, which is in the first half of the program, when you come and work with me, is what I call self-image. <clears throat> now, what is self-image? And it's an interesting title here. Environment is but our looking glass. Environment is but our looking glass. Wow. What is that? So whatever you're feeling on the inside is happening on the outside. Now, once you probably heard of the law of attraction, you probably heard of some of the laws. That's what we're going to teach you there. Who is the person that's going to be inside of you? Who is uh, Francis on the inside? And we need to come have that come on the outside. Your, your current results, the amount of money you earn right now has to do with your self-image. The job that you're in right now has to do with these elements. We change the self-image, everything changes. Your dollar can change, your job can change. But we gotta change your self-image first. We gotta stretch you. <clears throat> All right. I won't get into the other lesson, but that's the idea. Is that we have we 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 teach you these lessons to build on each other. But when you come to study with me to really improve yourself. You don't need to start with lesson one because you could be just here. You could be telling me, Kamal, I'm about to sell my business, but I'm really scared. I don't know what to do. Well, that's in, in here. So I'll, I'll teach you what's happening. Why is a good idea or a bad idea to sell your business? What, what, what makes sense? And it's not about the consultation of the value of the business. No, it's what's happening inside of your mind. You could be having a conflict between who you want to be and who you are and what are you doing. You could be having conflict that you don't believe what the heck is going on. Well, lesson eight here, right? We call it praxis. It's the integration of your beliefs and behavior. You say something, but you do something else. That's poor leadership, right? And then uh, in lesson nine, we talk about attitude. You probably heard of attitude, you know, be positive. It's not just be positive. There's more to it than that. How do you be positive all the time? It's easy to be positive when things are going well. Can you be positive when things are not well? How do you lead your team? You know, Earl Nightingale, who mentored Bob Proctor, he, he called it the magic word. And the magic word is attitude. Now, what the heck is attitude? Well, if we're talking leadership, if we're talking next level development, it's all about attitude. Where is your attitude? Where is your value? Where is how do you persist? How how do you persist in the storm? Attitude is the magic word. So as you can see, these lessons will build on each other to make you the best version of you. 
okay? To make you the best version of you. That's my goal. And we can do that very, very quick. I would say in 12 weeks, you would be armed with some of the best material in the world. There is nothing like this. I've scoured the world for information. I've taken five degrees and I couldn't even learn any of this. And then I stumbled across it. And that's the magic. It's so good. It's so valuable. And then after that, there's three more lessons on leadership. We haven't even scratched the surface. And I'm only showing you a part of this because that's just happened with the screen is, is here today, okay? So uh, I did promise you that I will I will share a bit about the mind before we do the uh, second half of the training today. It's going to be on sales. But what's this mind that we talk about? Because you might be like, wow, this is so big and powerful. Well, yeah, it is big and powerful. So if you have any questions, Francis, put them in the chat. Uh, uh, so what is this mind? Let's connect the iPad and teach you a little bit about the mind. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to connect what I just talked about with, uh, with everything, okay? So I need an empty page. Let's do it here. Okay, so quickly, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the mind today, but because we were, what we're talking about, this information is already inside of you. And if you've never seen this, that's okay. This is a picture that Truman Fleet came up with because we think in pictures. We think in pictures. If I tell you the mind, you have no idea what that is. But then if I say this is your mind, it's pretty cool. It puts a picture to it. And of course, there's conscious, super conscious, hyper conscious, and people call them all kinds of things, but stick with me. This is the mind. And this is the body. And I did that on purpose. And he did that on purpose. Because the mind is much bigger than the body. The mind controls everything. Okay, but he didn't just stop there. He didn't just stop there. He added a few more things. He said, look, this is the mind. This is the body. But we're going to split the mind into two parts. Conscious mind and subconscious mind. Easy, right? Very easy. This is your mind. Conscious mind, subconscious mind. It controls your body. Your body does what the mind tells it to do. This conscious mind has only 2% control. Subconscious mind has 98% control. Most people, I'm giving you the secret right now. Most people, when they go to training, okay, they're just putting information here. They take a course, take another course, take a degree, take another book, take another thing, and they just put information here in their intellect. This is your thinking mind and your intellect. But I told you, the subconscious mind has 98% control of your results. Whatever you take in here, if it doesn't go in here, nothing happens. So what I'm teaching you, what I share with you in these sessions is how to change your subconscious mind so you can change your results. Now, this might be too much for, all, for some of you. This might be scary, but it's not. Because if I do a little change in here, reprogramming and who you are and who you, what you want to become, guess what? Your results will definitely change. Your results will definitely change. Yeah, absolutely. We can, uh, I can show you that picture again, uh, Francis, no problems. Okay, your results will change. Your results will change. If I just help you change your program. Now, I want to give you one more point and then I'm going to share, tell Francis what are those titles again. You currently have a paradigm. What the hell is that? 
when a paradigm is causing everything that's happening in your life right now, it's causing the kind of money you're earning, it's causing how you feel, it's causing how happy you are, it's causing how wealthy you are, it's causing where you live, it's causing how everything in your life right now. This paradigm is in control. When you come and study with me, I will teach you how to change this paradigm. Well, you're going to be asking, change it to what? Well, like this situation, this subconscious mind has 98% control. Don't you think, don't you think if we build a new paradigm, a better version of you, just a little tweak of thinking would cause these results to really change, would cause this feeling to really change, this health, this wealth, this living. I gotta tell you, it changes a lot. It will change by miles. Now I'm gonna show you how much does it change, okay? Quickly, these are just some of my mentors. This is not to impress, just to impress upon you. I've been taught by some of the best people in the world. These are the best, most phenomenal people. Bob Proctor, Laurel Langmire, Harrison Klein, Doug Dane. They are just phenomenal, okay? Now, I'm not gonna spend much time on on, on this presentation today, but I'm gonna show you what these people are saying. Everybody from, from Les Brown, who gave us a beautiful testimonial to all, all, all these beautiful clients who learned how to change their mind, who learned how to become the best version of themselves. Uh, what I wanna show you today, um, there's people all over the world, many, 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 many companies, many companies, okay? Yeah. So this is me, I'm Bob here, that's Laurel. You can see some of the things that happen. I'm gonna help you reprogram the next version of yourself in the inside of you. You're gonna be amazed who you're gonna become, okay? She's running her business, beautiful. No stress, no anxiety, three days a week. How would you like that? How would you like that? 10 times her investment. How would you like that? just by studying this same information that I'm just about to share with you. I'm sharing with you right now. Four times his income last year, four times. Okay, four times, and he's gonna two time it again this year. How would you like that? Same information, it doesn't change. Okay, this is the framework. This is the process. You come in and we get started. I don't know what your situation is. You probably have something going on. I was talking to a guy two days ago. He's been in sales for 22 years. The last two have sucked, but then he's got something going on here. So we're going to help him right away with this issue. But guess what? Once we're done with that issue, <clears throat> he's going to do He's gonna do the work. Because sales is a high paid profession. He's going to change his life. It's not just for his own sake. It's for his family's sake as well. <clears throat> All right. Trudy became the number one in sales in Mary Kay. Mary Kay has over 970,000 sales reps. She became the number one after 18 years she was trying. She became the number one. So what do you really want? Yeah, what do you really want? Here's another picture of Trudy. Crown top Mary Kay salesperson. What do you really want? How long have you been working on what you're working on that's not working? Let's change that for you, okay? Let's change that for you. Let's get you this framework that is the most successful people use. And in 30 days, your life is going to change. And then we're going to do another 30 days. And then we're going to do another 30 days. And then we're going to do another 30 days. But like I said, when you come, I don't know what your problem is going to be. We're just going to zoom in right onto the problem. But you have to allow yourself on the greatness that you want. Most of the time, people don't allow themselves. This framework works. You can do it. Just like all these people did it, you can do it. If I can do this, you can do this. Okay. <clears throat> um, where is this? So if this is resonating with you, uh, I'm not going to show a lot of this, but there, there's different ways to get involved, okay? Uh, I, I, I suggest we have a conversation. I suggest you book an appointment and let's talk.
So you 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 go to calendly.com. Alresi. And you book an appointment. <clears throat> and then we have a conversation. And then let's see how we can help you. You or your team, right? You you can have a team that needs a lot of help. So you can do it. <clears throat> All these people can do it. You can do it too. There's thousands of them. I mean, all across industries. I want you to start betting on yourself. When I was speaking with Les Brown late last year, he said, well, do you know why you're winning? I said, yeah, I just wake up and it's just tough and it work. And he said, no, no, no. Do you know why you're winning? I said, yeah, I can. No, I said, well, it's because. He said, no, it's not that. I know why you're winning. And he goes, it's because you bet on yourself. And I still remember that. Every time I won, it's because I bet on myself. Are you willing to start betting on yourself? Are you willing to bet on yourself? See, most people have a wish and a hope. Wish and hopes don't do anything. They are like what I call the false prophets. I help you make it real. I help you make it real. So if you want a piece of the action, I definitely would love to speak with you. I'd love to see uh, a whole other version of you. <clears throat> okay. Let me show this picture again to Frances because she asked and she's here patiently waiting. So let me find it. I did put it up on the screen. So here we go, Frances. This is it. You can just take a snapshot of this. Uh, <clears throat> these are the lessons inside thinking into results. These are the names. So we've got a worthy ideal, knowing doing gap, infinite mind, secret genie, thinking into results, environment is about looking glass, uh, terror barrier, power praxis, the magic word. Okay. So these are the lessons. But book time, let's have a conversation. Now, with that, um, I hope this resonated. I hope you enjoyed this piece. The next piece that we're going to do together is sales. Because we've been doing sales all week. So if you, like when you come and study with me, especially when you come and start spending time with the premium time, you're going to learn sales. You're going to learn thinking of results. You're going to learn think and grow rich. There's a lot of things that you're going to learn. You're going to learn a lot. Yeah, you're welcome. Absolutely. Okay. You're going to learn a lot. How much is a lot? Is a lot. Look how much is a lot. If I go to this one in, 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 in in detail, okay. <clears throat> I treat everybody the same that comes in. Even if you work with me for just one month, three months, or six months. You notice it's the same information. Same information. Except when you come to me work on private, you're way more serious than, you know, in a group. There's nothing wrong with the group, but it's a group. It's different. You get less time. Time is the most valuable asset. If you want to get your life on track, I want to speak with you. I had four people this week interested in this. And there's only four spots left because there's only so many spots you could do private. The rest are going to go into group. This is the way it works. First come, first serve. And some of the people who need help on LinkedIn and stuff, so we, we're adding all kinds of stuff on LinkedIn. We're adding all kinds of stuff on sales. You're going to see today a bit about sales. All right? So don't hold yourself. I want you to get started. I want you to get started. Even in these 30 days, it's incredible who you're going to become, okay? Who are you going to become? Okay, with that, 
uh, to do the sales training, I have to stop the streaming and we just will stay on Zoom. So if you're watching this just streaming after the fact, you're missing out on the sales training. Today, we're going to do part four. So, but keep coming back. And if we don't speak till next week, because it's Easter kind of well, holiday this um, Friday and this weekend, happy Easter to everybody that is out there. And uh, we'll uh, 